Now then everybody, welcome to another Homebrew Wednesday. On this Homebrew Wednesday, I'm possibly going to be bottling the astringency beer. So I made a Columbus smash, and you may recall back when I brewed it, I was kind of watching England play Wales at the same time, which happened to be the only decent game we played in the Euros. And I was, spa I was dunk sparging my grains, and then Vardy scored, and I ignored the brew and left all the grains in the hot water. And I've been reading up, and apparently that may have left some astringent flavours in the beer, which is possibly what I was tasting last time. However, it still could be an infection and the beer could be ruined. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the bottling process. I'm going to siphon all the beer off into my um, uh, bucket. It's got the sugar solution at the bottom. I'm also going to um, siphon a bit off into the trial jar. It's been a good two weeks since I did that tasting video where I was racking the beer to secondary. And if the flavours have faded some, I'm going to bottle it. I'm going to label it just as a stringency beer. And I'm just going to like check back on it like once every month or so just to see how the flavours develop. And hopefully it will fade out completely and that will give me a good indication of what astringency does to a beer. However, if the flavour is just as sour or even more sour, I'm going to take it that it's an infection and I'm going to chuck it. So... Let's start off with the first step in this bottling doodah. So I've taken another gravity reading. There's been no further fermentation. It's still on 1010. There's the sample. It's pretty clear actually, which is why I was racking it to secondary in the first place. I found when I did the secondary fermentation, I get a much clearer beer. Just a reminder, I don't use Irish moss or protoflock or anything like that to clear my beers out. I just let them settle. Um, so here it goes. We're going to see if this is sour and horrible. Not looking forward to it, to be honest. Hmm, <laughs> it still doesn't taste great. Let me let's be honest about this. It's got a very metallic taste to it. Very metallic indeed. I don't think it's quite as sour as it was before, possibly. It, metal, metallic is the best way to describe it. Almost like you know the kind of metallic taste that blood has. Doesn't taste like blood, but you know that kind of um, irony sort of flavour. It tastes. It's got a bit of that going on. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to bottle all of it. I think I'll bottle maybe four for this experiment because this is what it's going to be it's going to be a sp experiment in what fa how flavors like this develop do they fade out i'm not don't not sure it's an infection i don't think it's a wild yeast or anything like that just because there's been no further fermentation if it was an infection you'd expect some more of the sugars to have been chewed up so i don't think it's an infection i do think it's a lot of astringency from that um barge problem i had Sparge of a steak, really. It's not a problem. It's my own stupid fault. So, yes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bottle four. And then I'm going to gradually taste them as they age to see what happens to them, if anything. And I guess I'm going to have to brew this Columbus smash again. Because I have no idea what Columbus tastes like. All I taste is metal. I'm not the good kind of metal that I like to listen to a, uh, as I walk the dog, you know. Yeah, it's metallic. Not, it's not as sour as it was previously. It does taste metallic-y. So yeah, I'm going to bottle four bottles of this. And I'm just going to put them in the back of a cupboard and forget about them for a bit. And I'm going to redo this beer, which is a shame because I think it would have been all right 
Never mind, eh? Let's get to bottling. So there, that's the end of that. At least this brew hasn't been a complete disaster. I do get to do a little experiment about astringency flavors to see how they develop. Hopefully they're gonna fade fairly quick, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave these four beers to carve up. And that means I've got to brew again pretty shortly because the only, I haven't got any beer on, I've only got that cider on. So I'm gonna do another small batch shortly, ne sometime next week maybe. Yeah, watch this space to see how those flavors develop. I just wanted to also give a shout out to Adam at Baldy's Brewery. Um, go and watch his latest Homebrew Wednesday video. Or, well, the one from last week by the time this one goes out. Go watch it. Um, it looks like he's trying to make the move into commercial brewing. He's doing a bit of cuckoo brewery. Uh, and I'm quite excited for it, actually. It's uh, something I've been thinking about doing myself when I'm a bit more experienced. Obviously, I'm only six months, seven months into my homebrew journey, so it's a long way off for me, but it is interesting to watch someone um, who's part of this community go off and do the thing that you're aiming to do. So go check out his videos. Um, he's a great guy, does some great brew in the bag stuff. Uh, I hope to emulate some of the success he's had uh, in the future. So apart from obviously having to rebrew the Columbus Smash, I've got the wedding beer I'm gonna rebrew, and then I've got a special clone. I'm going to call it a clone. It's not really. It's in the style of, if that makes sense. It's more of a cover version of a beer um, that I've got planned, which I'm going to do a test batch on the hob. And if it goes well, that's going to be the first brew I'm going to do full brew in a bag. So there's nothing left to say except for please leave me a comment or give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate all the interaction I get with you guys via the comments and the thumbs up. Please go visit the Facebook page. Please go visit the Twitter. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the cracking brewing content I've got coming up. So keep it geeky dad channel. Cheers for checking me out guys.